Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to cover my recent UK trip and share some of the things that I bought. So this summer my husband and I just went to the UK where we visited London, Cambridge, and Edinburgh. And I'm going to share some of the designy things that I bought that I thought would be cool for my art channel. So one of the places we visited was the famous Liberty. Liberty is a famous London department store and they're most well known for their patterns and home goods. And so I bought a couple little things cause we actually did 10 days with carry on only luggage. Um, so space was very limited. So I bought a couple things for friends and a couple things for myself. And I'll start with, since they are most well known for their fabrics, I bought these little like handkerchief scarves that have really pretty, um, recent patterns of theirs on them. There's that one, there's this one, and then there's this one. So they're mostly known for like kind of a more um, tight little floral pattern and it feels very English in a way and very vintage, but also modern. And that's what I love about it. I think it's the colors that make it feel more modern. They also have these cute little patches. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I probably need to get a jacket to iron these patches on. And I got some for friends too, because you know, they reminded me of them. So I got this lucky cat and a swan, of course, and then this love patch. So next, one of the art stores that we went to is the L. Cornelison and Son, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is a very cool um, old school art store that feels like you're going into Ollivander's wand shop. Um, and so I had to go in there and check out all their supplies. And what I stocked up on there are my favorite sketchbooks, which are getting increasingly hard to find. And they had them in a bunch of sizes. So I actually got two of my favorite sizes. I love this square size. And then I love this like smaller one I've never had before, but I thought it would be really good for traveling or just taking out when I want to draw in plain air from life. Okay, so the maker of these sketchbooks is called Kunst and Papier. Um, and I think they're based in like Denmark or somewhere in Europe. So that's why it's getting harder to find here. But I really love them because they lay flat. They have this really nice thick paper that I can easily do gouache paintings on or ink drawings on or do like really smooth pencil drawings. So I just really like it. Um, and they're my favorite. So while we were in London, we took a day trip out to Cambridge, which is about an hour outside of London by train. And we went there because I studied there in my undergrad um, for one summer and it was just a magical summer. So I wanted to share it with my husband and just revisit all these places because it's been a very long time since I've been there. And it's not as fun as a visitor because you can't get into all the magical spots that students can get into, but it was really nice to just see how much it's grown since I've been there, but also some of the historic, beautiful castles and schools are still there. The River Cam is still there. We took a little punting tour with a Cambridge student and it was just really wonderful. Um, and while I was there, we stopped by some of the little shops that I used to go to when I was studying abroad there. And I picked up just this pretty little clutch purse for Monsoon. It just reminded me of a purse I'd gotten while I was there. This It was this mint color. Um, and then the beading kind of reminded me of a dress that one of my best friends got while she was there. And it was like a Tinkerbell dress. So it was a cute little clutch. I need a new clutch. And it's just nice to have one that is associated with such happy memories. So next up, we went up to Edinburgh in Scotland, which is one of the most magical cities in the world. Um, you may know it because it's really well known for being where J.K. Rowling wrote most of Harry Potter. Um, we went on a Harry Potter walking tour and an underground ghost walking tour. Walking tours are a huge thing there. Um, most of them are actually free or very low cost. Um, it's really nice to tip your guide though. And they're just a really fun way to explore the city by foot. It's really easily accessible by foot, but you learn so much of the history and there's so many stories that are just not written down anywhere except through oral history there. So it's really amazing. Um, and so while we were there, we walked down this little street called Cockburn on the way to the Royal Mile and it had all these really adorable shops and we, and I picked up a couple things. One of the shops we stopped in had a bunch of cute stationery and I actually had to pick up um, one of the journals just because I love the edging 
all the different journals had different floral patterns um, that were themed with the color and they were all so pretty. So of course I had to get this pink one. Um, I do still keep a journal. I love writing by hand whenever I get a chance to. Um, and I also just love getting beautiful stationery while abroad. And another shop we stopped in had these beautiful robes in them by this British company called 100 Stars. So I really wanted to share because I bought this one, which is just like a really beautiful pattern and their website has a lot more. So I will probably be getting more in the future, but I love wearing these in the summer because they're perfectly light and made me feel like a fancy artist witch. And then my favorite thing we got in Edinburgh is actually a present for one of our friend's babies, but there are so many ways I've schemed to keep it. Um, but I don't have a whole lot of use for stuffed animals, so he will be getting it. It's this little Loch Ness monster. We're calling her Nessie. Um, it's by this British uh, toy company called Jelly Cat, but isn't it just so cute and special? Um, if you don't know the legend or history of Loch Ness Monster, it's really big in Scotland. Um, I don't know if you believe in it, but I do. And so it's just really cute to get commemorate it with this beautiful, really soft, adorable Nessie. I feel like I'm doing an infomercial. <laughs> and finally, another super memorable thing that we did while we were in London was have tea at the Diamond Jubilee Tea Salon in Fortnum & Mason. Fortnum & Mason is a really famous tea shop in London. So it was established in 1705 and it's been making teas for the royal family, but also been serving soldiers, peasants, everyone in between since then. They have a really wonderful history. They have so many amazing teas. A couple of my favorites are the Queen Anne, of course, and then the Rose Pouchon. Um, and then while we had tea there, it was really fun because we were able to get a sweet and a savory tea and then try a bunch of little things. Um, and they give you three types of tea. It's just a really fun experience. There's actually so much food, even though it is very tiny and delicate. Um, and then just the experience of shopping there is beyond because they have the most incredible design on all their packaging. And then all their little treats are adorable too. And it's all very clever, very British, very cheeky. Um, and it's just, there's no place like it. It's magical. Um, I almost even got marzipan because they made such beautiful fruit shaped marzipan. Um, but I didn't. Shout out to my Gilmore girlies. What I did get though were these amazing tin packages. So here's one. Um, it is a carousel theme or a merry-go-round theme, which I think is for their recent anniversary. Um, it's filled with Dulce de Leche shortbread cookies. Um, but the most amazing thing about it is that you can wind it. It plays music and turns. And this is just a cookie tin. The art is just so beautiful on it. It's such a beautiful present, although this is for me because after I did all the cookies, I am definitely keeping the packaging. I used to be a packaging designer, so packaging is just like mm, one of my favorite things when it's really good. Um, and for Nim and Mason, all the packaging is really good, but this was so unique and special that I had to bring it home and add it to my design inspiration archive. And then I really wanted this other tin that was really big. I'll leave that there. I really wanted this other tin that was really big. And again, like I said, we just did 10 days carry on only and we were traveling to a couple different um, places while we were there. But at the airport, I had a couple more pounds to spend. They had a little Fortnum and Mason pop-up shop and I was able to get the tin I wanted. It is really big, but we just carried it on in a bag. Um, and this one is definitely for their like birthday celebration. I love the artwork on it. It's so cool. Um, it's like reminds me of mid-century illustrations, but it also feels very fresh and modern. And then since this is a birthday tin, it also winds up and plays music, of course. It plays happy birthday, right? Yeah. It's so special. It also has three types of different shortbreads. They're also really known for their shortbreads since it's what you have a tea. Um, and these I actually did open up and start trying. 
So you can see it comes with like a little birthday card inside. And then you can see we've already started in, you can see we've already started in on the shortbread, but it's just like rows and rows. Rows and rows of cookies. It's a lemon shortbread dipped in chocolate, a fruitcake shortbread, and then like a double chocolate shortbread in case you're wondering. And they're all really good. And then the last and final thing that I always have to get when I am in the UK is, of course, dairy milk bars. Also got these at the airport, but they just remind me of studying abroad at Cambridge when my friend Nicole and I would wake up late for classes. So we'd run to class and have dairy milk bars stashed in our bag for breakfast. So thank you so much for joining me for this fun little design adventure through the UK with me. Um, I really enjoyed sharing what I find, um, the inspiration that I find through travel, because it's something that inspires me so much in my work as an artist, which is part of my whole reason for having this channel. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.